Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. Let me share my screen real quick. Okay, uh, so today uh, I'm going to talk about a few additional ideas of how you can integrate uh, something AI based into your application. And this is as usually is coming as a request from uh, one of our customers. They ask us to extend a chat template and they did not follow up actually, but we had a few ideas of how this can be done. And I want to show you just a few ideas of how you can make your application a little bit smarter. We're talking about creating something that is uh, where people uh, communicate, uh, ask questions, receive answers. So like obvious uh, uh, applications where we can do that, uh, a forum template and a chat template. So I'll show you what can be done there and maybe we can find it useful. And if you have a similar application, you can do something like this. It's, it's really, really simple and it's, the idea is less technical because we have done that kind of code before and it's it's more like uh, just to give you a few ideas or maybe I can learn from you what kind of AI integration you think might be interesting and we can try to implement that as well. So let me show you what we have already implemented and let's see if it makes sense. Okay, uh, let's open the browser window. So this is a very simple project. We just added a couple of uh, templates to this project, uh, forum and uh, chat. Uh, okay, we need to change the theme. It doesn't look very good maybe because we have two different uh, templates here. Anyway, I, I will do it a little bit later. Okay. So, so what I'm trying to do here, so when someone asks questions in a forum, we want to immediately uh, try and provide a feedback uh, from chat GPT. So let's pick up a question from uh, our uh, real form and let's see if it the, this kind of idea makes sense at all. Okay, let's uh, get this question. So the question is uh, what we can do when we do export, how we can export uh, lookup uh, uh, look up values, not IDs, but names coming probably from a different table, right? So that is uh, our question. That's the question. I copy and paste it and I start a new topic. Uh, I will pick up a PHP runner as a category and How to export names instead of IDs, something like that. And here goes our question. Okay, and I click save. And thus, it does something. And if we go to the topic, we can see that there's a fictional user named uh, ChatGPT, and it provides the actual uh, feedback. 
So, so I don't really know if it, okay, let's take a look if it makes sense or not. So I, uh, using SQL queries, check the documentation. I mean, I have asked the same question, uh, chat GPT, I have asked it directly and it made a little bit more sense to me then. That's a sample code. So this is not something that is really helpful. Probably in case of PHP runner. So it's more like, uh, and probably we cannot expect too much. Uh, it uh, analyzes uh, uh, documentation and probably forms or any other information it can find on uh, PHP runner. And based on that, it provides some sort of answer. Let's, so let's ask the same question directly just to see if it makes any difference at all. And I will show you how it was implemented. So My question. So I think this answer is a little bit, uh, it makes a little bit more sense. View as edit as, okay. Uh, You see, well, so yeah, I, like, I mean, if I personally do this with expert, I would uh, probably add both uh, ID field and uh, field from the join table, from the lookup table, and I will only use that field on the expert page. On all other pages, it should be ID field and on the expert page, yeah, so. Anyway, uh, that's the idea, right? So when someone asks a question, we can uh, automatically insert uh, Oh, definitely the date is not correct. So it needs to be specified uh, correctly. We, we will fix that. And we experiment with a little bit uh, more questions. So let me just show you how I'm doing this. Again, it's not really something that is difficult to implement, but probably it makes sense. It just, uh, the idea is, is to make sure that people understand that this is not a real answer from, uh, from the real person. It probably needs to say something like uh, AI summary, because when you go to like Google does it, as well, if you just go to Google and ask a question there, uh, probably sometimes it shows like an AI summary at the top and it makes sense. So people know that we dealing with AI. Okay, anyway, uh, let me show you the code, how we're doing this and we will fix this part as well. Okay, so we're talking about uh, what page is that? If we go to here, new topic, we go, uh, it's a uh, forum topics at, okay, and events. So since this, uh, this is something that is based on the template, uh, it uh, has a bunch of the code that was here before uh forum topics at page 
Okay, it's uh, after the cafe edit. Okay. So this is the part. where we deal with uh, chat GPT. So uh, what is important here is that we need to uh, explain the context, like what we're talking about. So if if I don't uh, tell uh, chat GPT that we are talking about PHP runner, then it would be difficult uh, for ChatGPT to understand what exactly we're talking about. So, for instance, if I open a new chat and don't tell, do not provide any context, right? I'm not even saying that we're talking about a web application or anything, right? And I ask the question. Okay, so probably it understands that we started talking about, because there is nothing about PHP runner here, right? I think it since I have a session, if uh, probably I need to log out and log in again. So it understands that we're talking about PHP runner, but otherwise it would be pretty difficult uh, for engine to understand what we're talking about. So that's the idea. Uh, when we create a prompt, I want to uh, explain that we're talking about pitch runner. So, for instance, how do we? What if the question is about ASP.NET, or if it's a, like a general kind of question? So, uh, right now, I'm coding PHP runner, but it depends on your application. Probably, let's uh, let's see let's see what we can do here. So, there's a category field, right? So probably we can use category field to tell ChatGPT what we're talking about, right? So we can use this. Okay, what's the field name? And field name is category ID. Okay, let's try this. I wonder if, uh, uh, by the way, it's an interesting question, right? So it's probably going to be ID instead of the actual value. So we will need to retrieve that from categories table, or we can use a function. Okay, uh, let's go back to the code. Okay, so we create a prompt. We explain that we're talking about PHP runner, but we will change it and make it dynamic. So category is probably a good option. So we are adding uh, question itself. We're not doing anything with the subject field, with the topic. So probably I don't really know if it. It probably makes more sense this way. And then this is the code we prepare headers that we tell him that we send in a JSON. That's our API key that's stored in a session. If you need to use do something like this, specify it in a event like after application initialize like we do in here uh, you will need to use your own api key uh, for chat gpt obviously and we send in the request right here we receiving an answer uh, in the json form and we decode it and we extract the actual answer that we're looking for and i wonder why it didn't work as expected with uh, with the date we will take a look at this i'm not sure what's uh, maybe because what's the t1 it looks like it was was copied from somewhere. We will fix it. We will fix it and user ID is chat GPT. Again, it's a fictional user. So, and we redirect to forum topics. Okay. It kind of makes sense, right? Uh, so what can be improved? We need to fix uh, the date. So this is 
basically the part that applies to chat GPT. So we run our question for chat GPT, we receive an answer. We just need to make sure that we make a prompt uh, make sense. And then we simply insert it into uh, forum replies. We just need to make sure that we assign it to the correct topic. So topic ID is the value from uh, forum topics. So ID of the new record we just created. So it's pretty straightforward, right? Okay, fix the date. Uh, use the category that when it comes and probably it makes more sense. So you probably notice after I created the topic, it redirected me to, to the list page. Probably makes more sense to stay on the topic view right here. So the person who asked the question, they can see a possible answer as well. So that's one option. So you can see we're doing it uh, like every time someone creates a new topic, we can provide some sort of AI overview. So some people will find it useful. Some people maybe will find it annoying. So if we implement this in a forums template, we probably make it optional. But that's an idea. OK. The, I mean, for forum, it makes total sense, right? Because um, people are literally asking questions. So while uh, ChatGPT answers sometimes are not on the point, it can be useful. What other options? You can, you know, like uh, you can do uh, maybe a Google search for something. You can do uh, uh, maybe Wikipedia search. You can. Instead of using ChatGPT, you can probably train uh, your own uh, AI engine on your based on your data. So if it's not public and ChatGPT don't have access to your knowledge base, so you can probably do that. That's just one of the ideas. Mm -hmm.